Mr. Reviews. Today we're going to be doing an install for the 2005 Dodge Ram. We're going to be putting the Banks Ram Air in uh, that I purchased uh, a week ago. So we're going to be installing that. So let's go ahead and get her opened up. Check her out. Still got the staples in it. Are we in yet? I don't know. Oh, I just opened from the side. All right. This is the uh, so we got the dry filter system, and this is the pre-filter. <clears throat> nice plastic. Looks like they coated it maybe for better airflow. Must be for uh, the sensor. Some hardware. A boot. Top piece. Instructions, instructions, and some stickers. All right, let's uh, go walk around to the other side. So, got the stock air intake here. So we're gonna pull all that out. This must, this must be for where that other sensor is. And then I believe we got to reuse this uh, pressure gauge. All right. So when we get all this out, then we'll come back and put in the new. All right. So we got all the old intake stuff out. The silencer ring was already out for the turbo. And then wanted to make some notes for the air box here. Be careful. Be careful when you're um, putting the airbox in and you're taking your old one out because um, this is very easily broken. Mine was already broke. Um, and then when you're putting these two bolts in here, put those in first, then install the support bar um, because you gotta push it that way and then you gotta pull it this way to get it to fit snug. So, I'm just gonna finish buttoning up um, some stuff here and then we gotta tighten up this nut here, bolt here. And I grabbed the wrong size wrench, as I always do. So we'll come back after we get some more stuff installed. All right, so we got the filter minder in, we got the air filter in with the pre-filter, got the air sensor on, got the boot on, it's all hooked up, connected to the turbo. So, yeah, like I said, just be very cautious of your uh, radiator overflow hose. So you don't break that off because it's in kind of a really bad spot right here. Mine, like I said, mine's already broke. I got to put a new radiator in now. So there's that. So now we'll go ahead. We'll start her up before. With the stock intake, you could barely even hear the turbo whistle. It was so faint. So that was the reason for doing the Banks intake was because I want to hear that turbo whistle. That's what it's all about for me. Just being able to hear that turbo whistle. So, we'll go ahead and we'll start her up.
All right, so we took it for a drive after we installed the bank's cold air, ram air intake. Uh, did not end up with as much whistle as we want. Need a lot more turbo whistle. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do next. Um, you can definitely hear the turbo a little bit more, but it's not anywhere near what we need. So, all right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a day great day. Thank you.